45 states have laws or amendments that ban same-sex marriage, including Washington. Last year, our state Supreme Court upheld Washington's Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage as between a man and a woman. This week, New Jersey became the third state to legalize civil unions between gay and lesbian couples, and our state lawmakers are also still debating this issue. But today we hear from UW students. Two Christian students and two members of the Queer Straight Alliance are at the round table. My name is Daniel Nevisich, and um, I am a Christian here at the University of Washington. And um, my view on same-sex marriage is that same-sex marriage should not occur, but civil union should. My name is Daniel Blue. I'm a junior here at the University of Washington. I'm a Christian student. And my view on same-sex marriage is the Bible takes no uh, perspective as how the government should deal with the issue. Uh, we believe theologically marriage is between a man and a woman. I'm Don McMadaway. I'm from the QSA, Queer Straight Alliance. Um, I believe that we should have full marriage equality for all uh, couples, not just heterosexual couples. My name is Kimberly Warren. I facilitate for the Queer Straight Alliance at the University of Washington, and I support marriage equality. So should marriage be something that only occurs between a man and a woman? As, as much as I respect the um, ideas that, you know, marriage originally perhaps as perceived by um, uh, religious groups prior to, you know, um, a more westernized civilization as between, defined between one man, one man and one woman, I still feel like in a modern society we have to adapt to changes and um, changes of attitudes um, I, and changes in um, demographics. If you don't make it definite, then people could start marrying boats, animals, um, other people, polygamists otherwise, and where do you draw the line? You can create substantial reasons why a lot of unions shouldn't be legally sanctioned, um, but focusing on ma marriage itself and the gender of those who get married and their sexuality, I don't think that the arguments that you can create against that are um, work. So it was something that was instituted by God um, to be between a man and a woman um, for purposes partly because of procreation. A man and a woman can procreate. That's granted, right? That's possibly. So they're given these tax breaks by the government because they can create children. Queer couples have babies every day. Sure. It doesn't yeah. necessarily disclude them from the aspect sure. of raising children. You know, raising children is and that's what the tax breaks are for. It's not the birth. Sure. It's mm -hmm. the aspect of raising them for the 18 years until they are legally an adult. I think that the chances are much greater than it even being but genetically possible for two women to have a baby than it is for an 80-year-old couple to have a baby. There's always the sight um, miracle that that couple could procreate, so whereas a couple that don't have the genes to do it or the um, body functions to have that happen, it's just absolutely impossible. So what about civil unions? Are those a fair compromise? It's like segregation when you have, you know, certain words for certain things, um, when it's all really the same subject of cohabitation as they defined it uh, religiously from, uh, translated from Hebrew and, um, you know, having those same legal rights, which is some 423 rights that are important and conferred upon married couples. Personally, I'm actually leaning towards a civil union for all. Because in the government, it's a very sort of empty thing. And all it has to do with is law and rights. And so it's just, I don't even know if the, if the decision should be made in government. The, my problem is, is when you have same-sex marriage, you have these civil unions, where do we draw the line? I view, I view the term marriage as a social thing. And I view the fact that it is a heterosexist term only applies to Male, one male, one female as a part of a very large social problem where queer individuals are not included into the institutions around us. If same-sex marriage was legal, what effects would that have on society? A lot of conservatives make the argument, you know, that government shouldn't interfere with people's lives a lot. That's the same way. I mean, do you want government imposing this strict moral standard that doesn't really work for you in a, in a certain way? because it, what you're doing isn't really hurting other people intentionally or even at all. And that's, that's actually precisely the reason why I support a civil union. Well, I would have to concede uh, on a point about uh, same-sex marriage. Um, if 
in fact, they did legalize it. Mm -hmm. It really wouldn't change much because I believe that the queer community doesn't make up the majority of the population anyway, and they are just uh, part of it. So for me, it wouldn't make a big difference, but I could not consciously, like with my conscience, support that. If you have something to say about same-sex marriage, click on add a comment. I'm Marissa McQuilkin for The Daily Videocast.